Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, uh, Job, uh, you can hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. So how are you? Sir, I'm fine. So all set for the interview? Yes, sir. You had your first interview? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So first, let me see your dress turn out, your uh, posture, everything. Just stand up. Go slightly behind. Sit properly, you know. Uh, yeah, keep your hand on your thighs properly, not loose. Let it know. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, okay sir. I mean, I, in, since you're online, we may not be able to uh, stay in this posture. That is okay. Okay, but uh, your tie, you, if you're wearing tie, you must wear it properly. Uh, you can't have it loose hanging around your neck. Otherwise, Sorry, sir. Otherwise, don't wear it. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, otherwise, gently, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. No, relax because I can't, mm. I don't expect you to be in this posture. You make in a posture that you can talk. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, but your entry, everything should be proper. I presume you, you must have been told that knocking, how to walk in confidently, I, uh, that those are the problems that we have got out here. Others have seen you physically. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, Job, uh, no, uh, how was the day? It's fine. Why? Uh, uh, so I'm fine. Uh, today is uh, also fine. Why? Why was it fine? Are you should. You are saying it fine. Okay, and understand this. You can wherever you want. You can note it down also, and uh, okay. uh, you must. Uh, just one sec. Let me take out your. Okay. Just one sec. I should have done this earlier, but uh, since you came online, I just. You're going for which entry? Uh, technical entry. Eh? Technical entry. Technical entry? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay fine. Uh, so, uh, when I ask you, fine, you must show your confidence. You should not be nervous and you're, uh, you're not able to say, why is it fine? I say, sir, sir, nice day, sir. Great rains. Enjoyed the mm -hmm. rains and uh, uh, or whatever uh, the thing is. Okay, yes, sir. and yes, sir. Uh, all so that enthusiasm, that joy should be there. Not yes, sir. You should not show uh, nervousness. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, job, you are coming from where, and what are you doing at present? I'm coming from Kerala, I'm, and I'm like preparing for my gate exam. Okay, uh, you are coming. Which part of Kerala? Kollam. Kollam. Uh, so, which all other parts of India you have been to? Uh, other parts of India, have been, I've been to Hyderabad and that's also. Okay, you are supposed to look at me, not uh, look at left, okay, right. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Why, my okay, face sir. is too bad or what? That you don't want to look no. at me? Huh? No, sir. Okay, now. Uh, tell me something about Kollam. Uh, Kollam uh, is famous for its ca uh, cashew industry. I have a cashew industry near my place, but it is now locked down due to uh, people strike uh, due to uh, party people striking and all. So right now it's closed. And yeah, Kollam is actually famous for uh, cashew factories. They have there are a lot of cashew processing factories around. 
Okay, good. Uh, okay, John, before I start, if the, uh, you, in actual settings, you would be one to one with the interviewing officer. There would not be anyone. So if there is someone, you can request them uh, to leave also. Someone is trying to uh, see how you're performing. Okay. Yes. You can tell them to leave because it will disturb you. You will not be able to concentrate. So okay, that sir. is why you and there, it's uh, just one on one. There's no, uh, there will not be a third person in the interviewing room because uh, I want your full attention and uh, I have to give you my full attention. Okay. Yes, sir. So if there is anyone else, uh, it's uh, mandatory that you tell them to uh, leave. Because there must be someone, my, or some people might be assigned to see how you're performing. Okay. If that is the case, yes, please ask them to leave because you will not be able to do your best. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, the job, uh, now we'll talk more about you. Okay. Covering areas of your education, your uh, family, and your spare time activities. I have some idea of them from the PIQ that you have filled, but you can talk in greater details. Okay. Suppose you tell me about education, starting from class eight, working up to the present level. In this, I would be interested in the percentage you achieved, various competitive exams that you appeared for in the result, and your future career options. I would like to know about your games, sports, extracurricular activities that you have participated in, and special achievements, if, if any. Talk to me about your teachers, those teachers who impressed you and those who failed to do so, and why. I would like to know about your friends. Who are your close friends and why do you consider them as such? And those people with whom you found it difficult to get along with. If you had any problem uh, financing education, how was it resolved? Start, though I asked you to start from class eight, in this case, you can start from class 10. Okay, sir. So, uh, my class 10 uh, CGPA was 9.8. It is actually about 93, 92 about 93 percent then in class 12th uh, i've got uh, a total of 91.2 percent then in the engineering um the overall percentage i uh, uh, i've secured is about 80.45 percentage uh extra calculator activities i've uh, done during my school days is i used to play football uh, with my friends uh have been in uh, house matches but my, since my school doesn't have a school team or it, it doesn't uh, uh go to school tournament uh, in the school tournaments i've only been into in uh in i've been only uh i have been or pa have participated only in indra uh, school competition housewise competition uh I've been a, uh, the team I participate uh, participated was able to win the uh, win the tournament. Uh, also, other extra I usually play all kinds of uh, sports informally. Uh, formally, I don't think I've played any sports during my school days or my college days. Uh, then uh, uh, extra curricular activities of my college days, I. Uh, used to participate in workshops that is related with uh, electric vehicles or build how to make a vehicle or uh, something related to that then i've uh, i've been uh, i've studied uh, 3d modeling software related to my mechanical engineering field and i've um, i've uh, i've helped in modeling some projects for my seniors and for my friends uh, uh, Mm, my hobbies are actually my hobbies we'll talk are. About your hobbies later. Tell me. We'll talk about your hobbies later. Tell me okay. about your friends. Okay, my friends. Uh, uh, I'm a person who can make a lot of friends very quick, uh, very quickly. Uh, I have a lot of friends, but uh, uh, I don't uh, like to go in close with. Uh, um, I, I I don't like to go close with all my friends. Uh, uh, recent, uh, uh, but I'm, uh, the friends I made with my school in them, in my school days, I haven't been able to contact with them. Uh, but, uh, friends I made during college, uh, um, college days, I've been able to keep in touch with some of them. 
uh what i see in my friend is uh something i would like to have on my own some qualities that i don't have and or something that i would like to develop or something uh, some qualities that i would like to see in others and myself uh qualities like uh, having a certain goal for yourself and who knows how to do or what to do to achieve that goal uh someone who is always positive and cheerful and someone who all uh, who will encourage others or motivate others uh, motivate my uh, motivate me and i'll also motivate my okay. friends okay uh, you had any problem financing education no sir i didn't have any problem financing okay good so uh, you said you have completed your graduation yes sir uh, in what in mechanical engineering in mechanical engineering so yes, you got that's not entered in your uh, piq uh i think i have entered it you got a copy of the piq with you yes sir uh, one is not now we'll take it later leave it leave it leave it okay sir mm-hmm. so you can uh, i'll make you take it out okay fine uh, so uh, Uh, job we are done pretty well in mechanical engineering so why do you want to join the armed forces because my dream is to become someone who can react to uh, many difficult situation who can face danger and also uh, help uh, help other people during the da- uh, during the dangerous or dangerous situation i would like to be able to react to many dif- uh, many difficult situation and should be able to uh, come up with solutions very fast Okay. Uh, also, I would like. Also, sorry job uh, yeah we are uh, so uh, uh, but you uh, you are looking to join the armed forces for uh, to help the people that you can do it even in your uh, present uh, in, in any field not just help the people i want to face a dangerous situation and want to so able dangerous uh, situation is in everywhere today you are having floods in your state if you are yes, sir. Where, uh, you are facing a dangerous situation yes sir but uh, i would also like to gain experience on that but if in ordinary life or in ordinary job i think i won't be able to face that much dangers or i won't be able to react to situations quickly uh, i would also like to involve in okay, physical so, activities uh, you want to join so how do, why do you think uh, there is danger in the armed forces it's because uh, uh the armed forces are always uh, fighting for our country i mean uh, fighting terrorists so fighting so what do you know armed... about the indian armed forces what i know of the indian armed forces you want to join the army yes sir 
So what do you know about Indian Army? Uh, um, what are the Army. various branches of the Indian Army? Sir, I didn't understand the question. What are the uh, various branches of the Indian Army? Bra what, uh, branches? I, I don't Indian know. Indian Army has got different branches. Uh, infantry, armored. I heard of this. I have heard of it, but I don't know the details, sir. Okay, so what? Uh, uh, can you tell me some weapons with the Indian Army? Uh, weapons, uh, Agni missiles, uh, ballistic missiles, uh, uh, supersonic missiles, then armored tanks, uh, uh, guns, uh, rifles. Can you name some uh, tanks that Indian Army has got? Sir, I don't know the names. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Jav now will talk about your family. Okay, it is sir. having interest in your parents, brothers, sisters, their education and occupation, how you spend time with them, what are the activities you carry out and which are those activities you are personally involved, whom do you approach when you have a problem. Also tell me about your financial aspect, how much pocket money you get and how do you spend it. If you don't get pocket money, how do you meet your financial requirements? Start with your parents. Uh... My father, um, my relationship with my father is uh, uh, purely. I talk to him sometimes, uh, but when I have in need of te technical things like uh, something related to my education, I usually consult him or uh, for or for registering. I asked you for... tell me about. So I expect uh, there are people, your father, brother, sister, oh. father, mother, brother, the education and occupation. How you, then you tell me how you spend time with them. Okay, sir. Uh, my family consists of my father, my mother, and uh, I have one brother. Uh, uh, my father is current, uh, is actually retired, and my mom is a homemaker. Mother is a homemaker. My brother is actually, uh, he's the final year student of a mechanical engineer, of mechanical engineering. He's having his exams on, his exam starts on 12th and ends on 19th. Your father returned from what? Uh, he was a bank manager uh, in abroad. He was working in UAE. Right now he's retired. Uh, and my mother, and my brother is in his final year in his mechanical engineering. Okay. And my relationship with other is that uh, when I have some technical troubles or when do you have when with, you have a problem? Uh, it depends on the problem, sir. If I have a technical problem, I usually first I usually uh, uh, tell my mother, and then uh, if it is something that can be solved only by my father, then I'll tell him. Then, and if if it is a technical problem, if it is not a technical problem. I usually consult with my mother. So tell me an occasion that you approached your mother with a problem. Uh, uh, um, problem. Okay, I don't remember. Uh, now let's talk about your hobbies and spare time activities. In this, I would be interested in the purse. Uh, how do you uh, spend your spare time? What are the activities you carry out? How do you use TV, internet? And also tell me your routine on a Sunday or a holiday. Uh, uh, my hobbies are uh, working out, uh, working out, ex working out, exercising. And uh, I sometimes, if I have my friends with me, I used to play outdoor games like uh, football or badminton with them. Uh, then. Um, I also learn lang. Uh, I also am learning uh, Jap uh, Japanese language right now. So, uh, so um, and then during uh, uh, Sunday, during Sundays, my uh, routine is that uh, I'll wake up in the morning uh, si uh, seven at seven o'clock because I have to go to church at nine. So I'll do the things necessary for church, and the church will be over by one o'clock or one thirty. After after 
going to a church we'll have our lunch and i'll get some sleep get, uh, get some sleep then i'll uh, work, uh try i'll be uh, working uh, working out uh, or i'll be playing with my friends or my brother then uh, i'll be learning languages i'll be then if i have uh, something to uh if i have some exams coming if i have some exams i'll be learning for the exams and then uh i would be learning my uh, learning my japanese language i mean uh, and then i'll then again i'll work out and then go to sleep okay uh so uh, tell me uh, uh what the what do you think are strong points in your personality and the areas you need to improve upon my strong points are i am i am usually cheerful and uh i am always having a positive attitude uh uh then i would also I like uh, I would also like uh, would like to give importance to my physical condition uh, phys- my physical condition uh, and what are the areas of improvement areas i need improvement are uh, i'm not good at speaking with uh, uh, speaking fluently i i usually listen to a lot of people but i rarely speak with them it's not because i don't have anything to say it's because i don't have anything to say i like listening to people a lot i observe them because through their speaking i would be able to understand their personalities or what they like so i usually like to listen to people uh, so i don't speak much what else then uh uh then i would Okay uh, job it was uh, nice talking to you uh, do you have any questions uh sir i would like to ask you about like as uh, like if you are still in interview your interview is not yet over okay sir no sir yeah, so as part of interview would you like to ask anything no sir okay then thank you job wish you all the best you you may leave in this case you are not leaving uh, be seated there pick up your piq form okay sir one second sir okay uh, job quickly we are tell you some points you can note it down wherever you want okay can you hear me yes sir yeah so uh, firstly regarding your piq you need to be okay, more sir. i'd spend so much of time explaining to you regarding the piq but uh, okay, you sir. are not uh, done justice to it okay yeah, uh, firstly, i see okay uh, you are uh, you and uh, it says with approximate population does it say or not where is the population yes, that you have mentioned yes sir eh huh? yes sir what yes sir uh, i didn't write it ha uh, why okay uh, become uh, your uh, regarding your father father mother their uh, occupation what do you mean by na not applicable <laughs> oh, i don't know what to feel sir Why you said your father was a retired banker? You could have written that. You don't know what your father is. Yes, sir. Okay, so I should uh, write homemaker and uh, retired banker there. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay, income. If uh, your father is not having income, yeah. yes, uh, yes uh, uh, you are living on uh, love and fresh air only. No, sir. Uh, savings, uh, sir. Savings during when he was oh. working. so there must be some sort of income uh, which can be uh, reflected there it must be uh, okay sir <coughs> okay so that okay, you sir. can um, mention don't leave it okay, blank okay sir okay then okay, as sir. i told you uh, you are still in 2015 after uh, you had progress after 2015 sir it is there the next page sir what top 
No, I don't. Okay. Federal Institute, Professional Federation, is that one? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you could return it there only. Others, you oh. could have just written uh, BTEC. You didn't BTEC? No, I haven't written BTEC, sir. No, then what is it? Like... What have you done? <laughs> Which course have you done? BTEC, BE? I'm mechanic. BTEC, BTEC. So you could have written others, may you could have written? Uh, BTEC. Data can return here, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. And you can also highlight uh, mechanical engineer or something, ME or something you can write, okay? Because okay, sir. Then, okay, age, uh, 23 years, eight months, 1.6363, okay, yes, NCC, no. Yeah, games and sports, I think you can improve a lot. You are going to return street soccer twice, badminton twice. Oh, yes, sir. There's nothing else that you can write? Uh, uh -huh. Period or duration of participation, specify the year. Okay, sir. Okay, 2018 to 2020. Something okay, sir. You don't do anything these days? Yes, sir, I play with my brother, badminton. So you can write, badminton you can write even now. Okay, after, sir. From when are you start 2020 or whatever it is? Okay. Representative okay, school or university, you can put a dash. Outstanding achievement, put a dash. Okay, okay sir. Uh, okay, sir. Obvious interest. Working out, learning new language. Okay, good. Uh, again, extracurricular activity. You haven't done anything in your life other than uh, in act extracurricular activities? You have uh, never taken part what? in any debate, quiz, elocution. You have never taken part in any project in your uh, college, yes, sir. Never, yes, sir. Uh, huh? Yes, sir. So you write about those, no? Don't okay, repeat sir. what you already written them. Okay, sir. It has to be different. Okay, sir. Okay. You are written. Okay, sir. Uh, you are writing extra uh, next. Uh, you are some portion of responsible project coordinator, which is the project that you have done. You haven't done any NSS. You haven't done any no, sir. trekking, hiking, biking, cycling. No, sir. My parents are a little overprotective, so I haven't been given a chance to go through that. No, uh, don't blame your parents. You didn't want to do it. You should have been able to convince them. I tried. I tried okay. my best, but... Okay, no. sir. So, uh, just one sec. Okay, sir. Okay, so uh, uh, you have to find some activities that you've done. You might have done some drama, dance, debate, elocution in school, college, somewhere, some project. Yes, sir. Yes, so you sir. can write about that. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, uh, sir. Only then the project, the coordinate of which you are coordinator, write about that project. Okay, sir. Others are already saying that you are project coordinator. You are not telling me that you have done a project. Okay, sir. But in your, you are taking the responsibility of project coordinator. Okay, so write about that. Then write about nature of commission, choice of service, and all those things. Okay. So what is you need to so what is that? Filling up of PIQ a lot. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, I have a doubt. Other, yeah, wait, wait. Few other points. You need to improve your confidence level. Okay. Okay, sir. 
you are, uh, I, you'll be very nervous there. I can assure you. Here also. Yes. Oh, so you need to improve that. Okay, sir. Your communication English is good, but that okay. flow is not there. Okay, sir. Work on it. Start uh, talk to people in English and try to improve your flow. You are thinking okay, in sir. Malayalam, translating it, and then uh, talking. Okay, sir. So that uh, that flow should come. Okay. Okay, uh, sir. Then uh, don't miss out on questions. I asked okay, so sir. many questions. I asked you about teachers, your friends. You did not tell me. Uh, teachers, okay. I asked you. You are describing your friend. You can't be telling uh, what sort of friends you want. Okay, sir. So I want that type of friend, this type of. Friend. I am asking about your friend here. Yeah? Select okay, a sir. friend and describe him. Okay, sir. Take okay, a sir. This friend is like this. That is okay, what sir. I want from you. Not okay, tell sir. me give, uh, tell me the QR of a good friend. Okay, sir. So uh, work on that. Same okay, way sir. your teacher, you missed out. Uh, okay, you, sir. You are going to tell me confidently. Uh, okay, in tenth I studied in this, this school, uh, and in your case, now the public school, which place? Kollam. Uh, so now the public school in Kollam itself, sir, and that's the percentage of this much. In my twelfth, I. Uh, continued the same school and studied, got this much percentage. Thereafter, I appeared, I asked you for competitive exams. I appeared for this is competitive exams and achieved. Uh, okay, sir. You got into this engineering. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, your motivation level, why you want to join? Please, your mind is not yet clear. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. I mean, why you want to join? You should be able to bring out what are those. Okay, sir. Uh, it should be that you have to show that you are passionate about it. Okay. Okay, sir. You can keep noting down whatever you then uh, some motive. Your defense awareness is very low. Oh. You need to work on that. Okay, okay, sir. I did not ask you deliberately because current affairs. I presume you need to prepare a lot. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, then coming to your family. I told you already. I asked you tell me about your family. You started off my my relation this that. Go systematically. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, how you spend time with them? You did not tell me anything. Okay, sir. Sit down. Uh, you sit down. Chat. Ye ho karke. You on. You might be going to church with them. You might be going to religious place with them. All those things you must try to bring out. Okay, okay? sir. Uh, your hobbies, don't mix it up. Okay, Last day, I asked you about your hobbies and spare time activity. That is the time when you must talk me, tell me about your hobbies. Describe okay, it. You have mentioned some hobbies, learning language, uh, working out. You must tell me. Okay, I would ask you some questions about the working out. Okay, sir. And then your, uh, your insight is good, I would say. But select one or two insight. Your strengths. Okay, sir. Okay, two, two or three maximum. Two are good enough. You are. You said you are uh, positive, good. You are. Uh, jo uh, you are joyful or something. You said. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Cheerful. So, good. Uh, cheerful. Yeah. So uh, those are good things. Uh, but be prepared for follow-up questions. You are saying okay. cheerful. What if there is a. Uh, shocking, something uh, unpleasant. How will you react? All those things you have to. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, same and again, your area that you improvement was reasonably okay. You are generally so you improve on all these things. You will be able to do much better. Okay. Okay, sir. Your confidence okay. level you need to improve. Uh, okay, sir. Being cheerful, being smiling is good, but don't overdo it also. Okay, sir. You can, it looks, uh, many a times it was looking artificial. Okay, you are pretty okay. nervous, you are sh shitting in your pants and you are saying, you are smiling. Eh? <laughs> okay, that here uh, you are very far off, but when you come into, walk into the office of the interviewing officer, everyone feels nervous, but it's okay. Okay, overall, okay. Uh, there's a lot of improvement that you can do, but uh, you understood the mechanics, so work on those uh, shortcomings and do it. Okay. okay. Sir. Any questions? No. You are saying sir, you have some would, question. Uh, I would like, uh, sir. I would like to know, like, 
how uh, engineers are uh, like posted or where are they posted especially engineers, mechanical uh, there's nothing else uh, engineers they are first a uh, uh, soldier then you are a uh, okay, soldier or an officer and then you will be engineer so you can be expected to be sent anywhere and everywhere so don't bother where you are going to go why you will not join if you are sent to searching sir i'm interested in such like and uh, situations like that sir so then then you get uh, recommended we are completed training and then we you can think of those things no you okay sir your attitude should be come where whatever it is whether you are posted to kondam or where you are posted to uh, ladakh you should not have any problem okay sir what else anything else nothing else sir thank you sir okay thank you uh, thank you sir okay yeah next hi sir Yeah, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, can you hear my How voice clearly? How sir, are you? you? Sir, I'm fine. Can you hear my voice clearly? Yes, yes, I can hear your uh, voice loud and clear. You are Sir Shivpuri. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Sir, as at present, you would have walked. Uh, you would have uh, come into the, my office, and you would have been uh, that entry part. I hope you are clear on that. Yes, sir. So just. go slightly back let me see you how you are sitting your posture and all those things so i'll just change yeah You've been to SSB earlier. Yes, sir. Okay, come closer now. Okay, sit, sit. Uh, yeah. So you know the procedures, everything. Yes, sir. So tell me where, uh, what was holding you back? Sir, in my first attempt, during my school days, I was particularly a little bit shy and introverted, so I wasn't able to express myself, and I was completely. Coming you have done. Uh, you have been to SSB twice. Both the times you have uh, uh, your uh, conference out. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So the first time I was a bit shy and I wasn't able to open up. So that I think caused was a major drawback in my performance. Whereas that affected me in a massive extent that I started over preparing for the interview. And as a result, one year later in my second SSB, I was. having a result oriented approach as to what i should present rather than what i actually am so that i feel was another drawback in my second attempt which didn't let me qualify for it now you are going for which entry so i'll be going for afcat you are going for afcat so actually i have three of my ssb clashing 
one is ncc ssc tech and apcat so i'll be preferably going for apcat so, uh, why not cds so i wrote the written exam but i was not able to clear the written exam of cds okay, okay. fine uh, so uh, sir, uh, i presume that you walked in and sat down we will uh, start the interview okay yes sir okay so sir how was the day so it was a fine day sir why so uh, in the morning the vegetable cart comes in so i help my mom by uh, carry the vegetables then after that after returning from office my dad my father came from canteen so he bought various food items for that i was particularly excited about you are a, where are you at present sir i am currently living in chennai okay you are in chennai okay yes sir okay so how long you been in chennai sir i have been completing my btech from chennai a town 50 kilometers far from chennai in katan kulathur my father got posted here in last august wait, so wait i asked you a simple question respond to my question yes sir. you have to know i am not interested in your life. i asked you something how long you have been in chennai so four years sir you just say sir i've been there in chennai for four years don't yes, overdo it okay so keep that in mind okay so you have been in chennai for others here from which place so i'm from jaipur rajasthan sir jaipur great place tell me something about that place so jaipur is also known as the pink city it's always the land of the rajputs and it is famous one of the major famous tourist destinations of rajasthan as it has one of uh, various monuments such as hawa okay, mahal okay fine so uh, now we'll talk more about you covering areas of education your family and your spare time activities suppose you tell me about education starting from class 10 working up to the present level in this i would be interested in the percentage achieved various competitive exams that you appeared for and their result and your future career options tell me about your games sports extra curricular activities that you have participated and special achievements if any i would like to know about your teachers those teachers who impressed you and those who failed to do so and why talk to me about your uh, friends who are your close friends and why do you consider them as such and those people with whom you found it difficult to get along with if you had any problem financing education how was it resolved start from class 10 so i completed my class 10th from sanveen pur garuna which is located in varanasi during my 10th standard i was part of the heritage club which i was the head and along with that i also participated in the cyber olympiad in which i came first in the inter school level after that i shifted my schooling from sanveen pur kendriya vidyalaya for the next two years where i participated in national student science congress for my project called electricity generation through speed makers and after that after 12th i appeared for various competitive exams such as iit and as well as nda i cleared my nda twice however i was not able to clear my iit mains after that i moved i took admission in btech for btech in srm university katan kulathur in mechatronics branch where i was actively part of the national cadet corps in which i got the chance to attend the republic day camp as well as the youth exchange program to the country of kyrgyzstan as for my performance in the various levels in my 10th i scored 89% in 12th i scored 81% and in btech my aggregate comes up to 70% as far as uh, teachers are concerned throughout my 10th and 12th the favorite subject which i like was physical education so naturally i was more inclined to the physical education teacher as well whereas coming on to my btech the favorite teacher was my class in charge mr ranjit pillai i found him to be very quite helpful because as i attended a lot of camps i was so many days away from college so i had missed a lot of classes as well as work so he helped me distribute that workload get in touch with other classmates who i i share the same subjects with so in that way as well as getting the on duty leaves he was quite helpful to me in the administrative aspect as well 
whereas the teacher whom i don't like i won't say that it's actually the teacher but it's rather the subject in my uh, btech i had a subject called microcontrollers and microprocessors which basically okay, now tell me about your friends so i have a variety of social circle ranging from my class group then coming on to my evening where i go to play sports and college i have the other friend circle and along with that i have a friend circle of ncc the friend circle of ncc i am quite close with because of naturally because of the time i spend them with the most and all of us have a common aim joining the defense forces as well as to saying the people friends who i don't like are the person who are not trustworthy or loyal whereas coming on to my financing of education i found no trouble whatsoever about the game sports etc curricular activities so throughout my 10th 12th and btech as representative of school i was only participated in i have only participated in badminton that to an inter house okay, level that's all the sports were in evening okay uh, so why do you want to join the armed forces so being born and brought up in a defense background has obviously started an inclination in me at a young age but after joining completing my 3 years of ncc that motivation got very strong because i got a glimpse of how the defense forces work and i fell in love with it the event in which i was a part of was in my ncc was contingent drill it basically showed how the organization works as well where you have to be special enough to be part of the contingent but at the same time you don't have to be different enough that you look different from far enough it has to be uniform in a way and a leader cannot work without his contingent and at the same time a contingent cannot work without his leader so these principles were very i found them very interesting and i got attracted to them okay uh fine uh, you said your father is in the defense yes sir in what so he is in the army army medical corps sir army medical corps okay so uh, if army medical corps is one branch of the army what are the other branches of the indian army so indian the fighting arms consists of infantry armored as well as uh, the aviation whereas the support will consist of artillery engineers signals whereas along with that there are services such as army supply corps ordinance corps the corps of military police as well as army education corps etc sir okay uh what is this infantry so infantry is basically the people who are in the first line of uh, first lines of offense for the indian army they are in earlier times they were the people uh, the soldiers who can you name some weapons in the indian army so the uh, weapons will be in sas then after that it's the carbine along with that there is also a frag grenade which is carried by infantry people sir okay uh can you display the ncc flag sir ncc flag is a tricolor flag from which consists of the color red dark blue and light blue which symbolizes the three services of the indian armed forces the army the air force and the navy it also has ncc logo in the middle of it along covered with a lotus wreath of 17 lotuses which describes the 17 directorates of the ncc and between okay. the red there are two dots okay symbolizing fine. yes sir and uh, uh, sir now let's talk about a family yes in this i would be interested in your parents brothers sisters their education and occupation how you spend time with them what are the activities you carry out and which are those activities you are personally involved in whom do you approach when you have a problem also tell me about your financial aspect how much pocket money you get and how do you spend it if you don't get pocket money how do you meet your financial requirements uh start for with your parents so i am living in a family of five where my father mother i have a younger sister and my grandmother from my mother's side is also living with us my younger sister is currently starting her third year in bsc life science from miranda house delhi university as to spending times during the, since both of us were living away from our home 
we didn't get to spend a lot of family time together but since the unwanted pandemic the lockdown we have been close to each other we are constant every evening we are trying to play some new games such as we picked up carrom then card games such as hearts spades it's a regular uh, activity time for us in the evening whereas for the problems there are different types of problem for which i uh, approach my parents for any problem rela- related to my career options i take guidance from them we have a discussion with both my father and mother includes uh, included in it but in the end it's my, uh, they tell me that it's my decision and i have to live with it so i have to think about the decision and take it myself as to finance i used to get a pocket money when i was living in my college of around 15000 since i was living in a rented accommodation around 10000 of the pocket money used to be spent on rent we also had a cook so salary of the cook and along with that the ration expense of the month so did i miss any question uh you told me uh, for a career you approach your parents you are, you have never had any other problem sir any other problem as well we always have i always have a discussion with both of my parents because they so tell me any uh, an occasion that you approach your parents with a problem so my Other problem your career problem so my uh, problem my latest problem was when i was going for my youth exchange program i also had a exam fallen in the same time frame so there was always a doubt whether i should go for it or not okay good. okay now let's talk about your hobbies and spare time activities uh tell me what are your hobbies how do you keep yourself engaged in your spare time how do you use your tv internet and such things uh also tell me your routine on a sunday or a holiday so my hobbies include origami which is basically paper folding art along with that i have a keen interest in exploring regional cuisines of india since i have traveled a lot throughout india and i am a avid uh, reader as well as watcher of football i support i watch the german uh, football league and on uh, on top of that my usually uh, i stop watching tv because most of my content consumption is on my mobile phone through youtube along with that my routine on a holiday will be waking up at around 7 o'clock and after that i'll be doing some stretching and i started skipping as well so to basically freshen up my body and mind by 8 o'clock since it's a sunday i try to make breakfast so as to give my mother a day off as well after that i work on my any skill courses which i and have enrolled for be it Uh, automation or any other in that related field it continues till lunch which i have which we have at 2 o'clock after that it's usually a little bit of watching videos especially football related the tactical analysis of the various games by 4 o'clock 4 to 5 o'clock i'll be get i'll be warming up my body so that i can go to play in the nearby institute by 5 i'll be playing badminton at from 5 to 6:30 after that for around half an hour i'll be doing horse riding for a bit after, after that from 7 to 8 i participate in various sports which the uh, my friends from the neighborhood keeps on playing so a bit for uh, basketball or football on any different days i come back by 8 o'clock and after that we have a dinner and then we spend our family time uh, playing carrom or any card related fine uh, so how do you keep yourself updated on current affairs so my current affairs source basically is my phone in which i follow a channel called study iq so this tell me basically... three major international event that has taken place recently so the latest major event which happened was a bomb explosion in beirut lebanon after that there are also which is a chemical which caused the uh, accident so ammonium nitrate sir Okay, how did it reach there, sir? So how did it, it was, reach? Sir, it was basically seized by customs office. It was basically a storehouse for ammonium nitrate, which has 
Okay, a lot what of else? Content. Okay, fine. Next. So along with that, the recent uh, one of the other recent news was India and US having a joint military exercises in the Indian Ocean near the South China Sea. After that, there's also the Quad uh, meeting. Why, why was this exercise being held? What is the significance of this exercise? So basically, the US aircraft carrier was conducting a routine exercise on its path and India also decided to join because of the recent hostility which has increased through, uh, with, from China throughout its border. Okay. What is the third topic? So the th third topic will be so the coronavirus is pretty much one of the main topics which is throughout uh, which is in the past, uh, recent months very major sir. Okay. Okay sir, uh, tell me what do you think are strong points in your personality and the areas you need to improve upon? So my strong point will definitely be one of uh, my adaptability. Being born and brought up in various of uh, uh, various environments has made me adaptable person as well as a person who is able to gel up with new people fairly easily. Along with that, I consider myself a quick learner as well. For any vocational or technical skill, I am able to pick it up very quickly. Tell me one uh, something that you have picked up very quickly and we are appreciated for that. So, in our NCC only, we were taught various small small things such as stitching, ironing, the correct way of ironing clothes which has helped me, especially in lockdown, helping my parents do it. Uh, all this uh, small, small things which were okay. essential. Uh, what are the areas that you think you need to improve upon? So, I would consider my public speaking to be one of my weaknesses, though I, I have improved, uh, I have been constantly working upon it. Okay. Uh, along with that, I uh, my another weakness is my unhealthy eating habits, which mm. I am so unhealthy eating habits. I used to eat a lot of junk food, especially in my college lifestyle, because it was fairly easier and tastier to get. So that also I'm trying to improve by switching over to a healthier diet, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. It was nice talking to you. I've been asking you a number of questions. Do you have any questions? So as such, no. So I basically had a question regarding screening, sir. So I regarding the, the screening method, sir. Wait, you are still in interview. Your interview is not yet over. Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, then thank you, Shara. Wish you all the best. You may leave. Okay, now pick up your uh, PIQ form. Yes. Okay. We uh, come out to that army PIQ form, single sheet. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Generally, you fill it up well, neat, tidy, so good. Uh, uh, this I would ask you also, you have, you have cleared your 12th in uh, uh, 2015. Yes, you sir. joined your college in 2016. What were you doing there one year? So, that was one of the options where I thought that if I have an extra India attempt, I thought of taking okay, a drop so because of that. Okay, so be prepared to answer this. Yes, sir. Okay. I am prepared, sir. Uh, that is it. And then, uh, why drop in performance from 89 to 81? Sir, it was because I got involved in various extracurricular activities, which took me away from focusing all together on my academics, sir. So, fine. Uh, you have to justify that, okay? Yes, and, sir. Uh, for short of time, I'm just going over it past. Yes, sir. Okay, in your outstanding achievements, these, these are activities, inter-school, cyber, Olympiad, or what is uh, regional NCSC? So it's a National Children Science Congress. It's a national so level. These are the activities that can be included in the activity if you want. Here you write about your achievement, whether you are first, second, third, or... Uh, some achievement you did this in your uh, first in physics or second in this or something like that. Okay, yes, in various uh, time. Then, uh, yeah, NCC, RDC, you should have spoken about RDC and youth exchange program. I mean, if it was NCC, I would ask you more about it. Yes, sir. We'll talk about it later. Uh, horse riding, 
football, swimming, badminton, okay. Origami watching football. You know, football you already indicated here. Your knowledge yes. about football. So why you want to write it in the hobby and waste your just fill it up? So okay. so the thing is like the rest of the sports which I play, I don't follow them. It is the only That's sport okay. which I follow. So you can talk about it there only. You yes, are sir. giving an opportunity to yourself to talk. Yes, so sir. it might be a repetition. Otherwise, okay. Origami, you did not tell me what it is and all those things. You should be more prepared to, for counter question. I yes, did sir. ask you all those questions and a lot of questions. You should be prepared. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, here you can write Olympiad and this and that. Okay. What yes. is it? Heritage Club. Uh, what is Heritage Club? Sir, we were located in the city of Varnasi, which is one of the cultural capitals of the India. Uh, so, you are located in? Varanasi, sir. It was during my 10th. So, we basically roamed each and every monuments and okay. we tried to find their significance. You, Indian uh, Congress, find Heritage. Some outdoor activity, you haven't done anything? Sir, my most of the time was is part of NCC. So uh, either you can write RD camp as an activity, but if you have spoken out here, you might like to think of writing some other activity. You might have been part of debate, quiz, elocution, hiking, biking, trekking, whatever activity that you have written, some indoor and outdoor activity mix. Okay, yes, you will be able to project yourself better. Yes, sir. These are repetition. I mean, you are. You have got a lot of activities. Yes, so sir. you should be trying to project yourself as a multifaceted, multi-talented person writing maximum different activity. So if you are written football here, I know, okay, you are interested, yes. you have been in football. So you are wasting this second time when you are writing. If you, you saw that if you write something else, quizzing is an activity that you could have written. Yes, sir. So something like that. Okay. Try to expand your uh, uh, field of activities. Yes, by writing sir. different activities. A contingent drill, it's already there in NCC, you would be talking about it. You have got an opportunity to talk about it. Yes, but something else, and try to mix, make it a mix of indoor, outdoor, everything. Okay, I'm sure you would have gone for some trekking, hiking, biking, cycling, somewhere you would have gone. You can write about those activities. Yes, sir. Okay. You think it's okay. They are okay. Mm. Uh... Okay, Saurabh, uh, your challenge is you are a repeater. Yes, sir. So I expect you to be slightly better than what uh, what you are. But the, actually, what you are, you are going to project yourself slightly more because you have been through this procedure. Yes, sir. You are good. I don't know why, uh, I mean, online is difficult to uh, really know why you uh, couldn't see you in that much detail. But I think you're okay as far as I'm concerned. Yes, uh, you, but you can improve um, at many places that we will discuss. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, just fine tune yourself. Show yourself as a more confident person. Yes, uh, be more enthusiastic about what you say. Yes, sir. You have to have that drive. Adi, come what may I have to uh, clear it. Yes, sir. Don't hold yourself back. Yes, sir. So that you can, you are exuberant, exuberance. <coughs> okay, you need yes, to sir. do that. Uh, next is, as far as your PIK, I already told you, then uh, you are uh, talking about any of these places, Varanasi, Chennai, I already told you. I asked you, from where are you from? Yes. Sir, I'm from Chennai. I spent four years in Chennai in studying in SRM college. Even if you want, what you wanted to talk. You want sort of uh, history geography. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, be specific, relevant to that uh, question. Then about your, yeah, uh, your method of answering the first set of questions that is regarding education. Nothing wrong. You started in class 10th, I uh, study in so and so school, I got this much of percentage. You started describing the activities also. Yes, sir. Nothing wrong, but you might like to consider uh, all these uh, games, sports, clubbing up together instead of uh, divide, uh, talking about it class-wise. Because you yes. might be repeating the same thing. Sir, I played uh, football in class 10, 12th also, sir, I changed it. Yes, I played sir. football and you are going to repeat this. So 
uh, you might not be able to focus the way you would uh, like to. Yes, sir. You might like to think, okay, I studied in class 10th, I achieved a percentage of this, then I appeared for this competitive exams and I got into this and this and that, what you said rightly. And then you can say regarding my game, sports, extracurricular activities, uh, I played this, this, this game in my school, I represented this. So you can consolidate it, uh, talk about a game and project those uh, qualities that you want to really project. Otherwise, it might be repetition. You would also be there. My, I'm telling the same thing. Why I will do this? Yes, so try it. Try it. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, your teachers. Okay. Uh, generally, okay. Friends. You can improve on it. Try to bring out those qualities. Actually, think of that friend. Why are you close to that friend? I asked you, close friends. So those two to three close friends should come to your mind. Yes, sir. And you should be bringing out their qualities. What are those qualities that you buy, bind with them? Not because I'm interested in them. I'm interested in you. But when you tell me that you bind because of these qualities, I uh, I presume that you bind, bind with for those, those qualities are there in you. So then I try to check out those qualities. Okay, so work on that. You can improve there slightly. Yes. Rest is okay. Your family. Yeah, try to bring out the activities that you carry. Don't restrict yourself to COVID or something. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, yes, these days sir, it is this, but otherwise I used to do this, this, this. Try to show yourself involved in various activities. How you help your father, mother, this, that, and all those things. Sir, but the you, problem in that is I, from the past four years, I've been living away from my Okay. So, sir, uh, though I could not spend much time with them, but whenever I come on vacation, I do this, this, this. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm not saying you reach in the evening and next day morning you yes, spend sir. time in the queue and for uh, doing some work. No, obviously for one or two days, even your uh, parents will say, but it's okay, as one of those. Yes, sir. But then how you manage, that, that is how you're integrating your life your activities, you are projecting yourself, you are as an uh, intelligent person, understanding person. Okay, so in, uh, these are the different uh, phases of your life, different. So you're integrating that and bringing out the best, trying to convey the best that you want to convey. Yes, sir. That is how you uh, say, yes, in COVID also you are having a different thing. So you're trying to show, so uh, what have you shown? You're shown that come what the situation is, you are, uh, you are basically this type of a person. Yes, sir. Okay, so try to prepare there somewhere. Uh, rest is okay. Uh, your financial, your hobbies, then... Uh, yeah, your routine. Try to make it more crisp. And at the same time, uh, bring out the content uh, I mean, it was slightly uh, touched. Okay. Yes. Beyond, uh, I'm sure you must have a different type of, you already told in your family how you spend time. Uh, when you go there, you sometimes go out and all those things. So, something here also, give different options. You can't have a fixed any thing. So, try yes, to sir. make it more natural. Obviously. Don't try to show it as a mugged up uh, sequence. Okay, so sometimes we, I sleep in the afternoon, sometimes sir, I go for a movie, sometimes I go for a uh, go and play games. Yes, sir. That's natural, that's what you do. I do. You're not expected to be always ready uh, at uh, 2 o'clock, you get up, uh, you're on a holiday at uh, uh, 3 o'clock, you do this for a No. Try to make it more natural. Yes, sir. At the same time, highlighting that you are responsible, you take care of all this. That is what is true. Okay, yes, sir. Current affairs, not good. You need to go improve on it. Yes, Your defense awareness, again, not up to the mark. I asked you why you want to join the defense forces. Yes, sir. Uh, motivation is okay, but again, you took off on a tangent there talking about your NCC. Yes, sir. NCC was, why if you have already 10 years or 20, 15, 18 years of your life uh, could not create an uh, impression. Your three years of uh, NCC created all the impression. 
Okay. Yes. And since you are a Fauji kid, you need to know more about Fauji. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, yeah, you will be brilliant more. Okay, so be prepared for that. Yes, sir. Uh, your current affairs, again, you need to go along. You should be able to talk, talk, talk. Here, you have the option to select the topic. Yes, sir. So, don't select a topic which you are not very sure of. You will need to prepare a few topics which you are very sure. And once you say, say uh, what are you first, you, uh, first topic of uh, the Lebanon uh, buried blast? So, you should project yourself as a knowledgeable person. Sir, recently there was this, that was because of this, then uh, four to five sentences. I mean, I should be so convinced as an interviewing officer that, oh, this guy knows everything here. enough. Yes, sir. Okay, so. That is how you need to, if you just don't distort the topic, cover it in a very brief, uh, the background and the current status. That is how you must. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, your insight generally okay, about two to three strengths and two to three weaknesses. Yes, sir. Identify that and work on. Uh, Chris, clear. Overall, it was reasonably okay. You can improve on if you just try to brush up all these things and you will be able to do well. Yes, Any sir. questions? So I just had a question regarding screening. Since I am a repeater and like now nowadays group discussion is being conducted while wearing mask as well. Hmm? So we are being group discussion is being conducted when we candidates have to wear the mask as well. So like during times like those when it becomes a fish market, which is common for a repeater group, how to tackle it, whether I should stay silent for some time. Or should I also barge in? Okay, if you are confident of yourself, I would say if you can button and uh, two to three times, it's more than sufficient if you can create that impact. Yes, sir. You need not talk, shout. But obviously, you feel jittery. You are not able to create that impact by butting in. So you tend to think. You need to get over it. You need to find some points and just convey it in a very, very clear manner. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, if you can button and do it, very good. Otherwise, you have to find that opportunity. There would be lull, as I say, lull in battle. You should be able to get inside. Yes, sir. You need to, it's a challenge. A repeater batch is going to be much more, especially now you're going uh, all this technical entry, NCC entry. NCC again, be more prepared about your activities. You have to highlight yes, your activities, if you're, especially when you're going for NCC. I just asked you a sample question uh, yes, about sir. NCC. But you have to be very, very crude up on NCC. And show that you did that, did, did this, that. So I did firing, I did fire, fire this weapon, I did this, that. I did, uh, you said, contingent drill. I try to bring out this. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you're good. So work on it, improve on it. Anything else? Any other question? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank Wish you. Wish you all the best. Thank you, sir.
Manish. Manish. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Where are you presently? Sir, Bangalore. Bangalore, which area? Sir, Cockstown, Jeevanalli. Okay. So, I, I think we could have shouted and had your interview. <laughs> no, sir. It's around 13 kilometers from here. So, 13 kilometers, I'm sure we could have shouted. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, uh, <coughs> you are the, this is your second interview? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, uh, Manish. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I presume you are the entry part we cannot do now, but uh, you should be confident. The entry should be confident and all those things. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just go behind slightly and let me see your sitting posture. No, or just turn and shift. No, I go slightly more behind. I can't see your full body. No, that, okay, you are. So you're not sitting on a chair? No, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, then, of course, obviously, your posture would... I can't check it out. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, but you should sit uh, on a chair, straight back. Yes, sir. Okay, with confidence and all those yes, things. Now relax, now find your... Uh, ensure that you're done. Okay, we'll start with your interview. Hmm? Yes, sir. So... Uh, Manish, you're coming from where and what are you doing at present? So, I'm from Bangalore. I just completed my engineering in the branch of electronics and communication from Reva University. Okay. What are you doing at present? So, presently, I'm preparing for SSB and I have attended my interview from Amazon, sir, which I've been recruited for Amazon for the further rounds. Okay. And I help my father in, my, in his business nowadays. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, so, you said you're from Bangalore. Tell me something about that place. Yes, sir. So, Bangalore is a place which is to describe a lot. Uh, it is a place of culture and it was uh, it is the capital of Karnataka and it was the first city in Asia to get electricity and it was founded by uh, Kempe Gowda. He is the leader for the Bangalore who found uh, Bangalore and uh, Bangalore is a place where we find a lot of pubs. It's a pub where we find a lot of pubs. And coming to the education part, uh, Bangalore has uh, highest education centers like uh, we have IASE, which is uh, ranked second in the in India, uh, Indian Institute of Science, which was formed by Tata Institute, uh, which was suggested by Swami Vekananda. And we also okay. have, so can, uh, are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Able to hear fine. Me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Fine. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Now let's... Uh, uh, now let's talk about your education, your family, and your spare time activities. Yes, uh, suppose yes, you tell sir. me about education. Sir, Starting no. from class 10th, working up to the present level. In this, I would be interested yes, in the per percentage achieved, various competitive exams that you appear for, and the result, and your future career options. So tell me about your games, sports, extracurricular activities that you have participated in, and special achievements, if any. I would like to know about your teachers. Those teachers yes, who impressed you and those who failed to do so and why. Yes, Talk to me about your friends. Who are your close friends and why do you consider them as such? And those people with whom you found it difficult to get along with. Yes, Got any problem financing education? How was it resolved? Start yes, from class 10th. So I completed my 10th standard in Royal Concord International School with a percentage of 92.64 and uh, completed my 12th standard uh, 12th standard in Narayana PU College with 85% of aggregate of physics, chemistry and maths. And I did my engineering in Reva University in the branch of electronics and communication with aggregate of 8 CGPA. 
and coming to the sports and extracurricular activities i have represented my school in volleyball throwball and football in zonal and cluster levels and i have also represented my school in storytelling and debate competitions and in 12th standard i was participated and took in charge of organizing freshers party as well as the graduation for my juniors and seniors in engineering i took initiation to organize programs like uh, technical talks where people had come from different uh, institutions or organize organizations to give okay, the talk now, about the company uh, tell, yeah tell me about your teachers and your friends yes teachers uh, i had a very good rapport with the teachers and i was a pet for my teachers since schooling and uh, there is nothing like uh, i hate it with the teachers or i like them i like all the teachers and there are uh, none which i hate them and my favorite teacher is uh, mariantani sir and he was my favorite teacher specifying him and there were no teachers which i whom i hated and uh, coming to the family so next is about the family we'll talk about your family later okay sir i asked you about your friend, uh, friends friends and if you had I, any problem financing education how was it resolved okay sir uh, there was no financial uh, uh, crisis in my family to carry out my education i completed it well because we were we were earning money to pay my fees and coming about my friend circle i have a very small circle where i have friends from my school my pu as well as my engineering coming to the small circle where i am very close to are my school friends that is prajwal vignesh shreyas deepika etc akhil these are my friends whom i am very close to and i share problems with there is nothing like uh, which took along for me to get along with them i got along okay, with them since the uh, uh... yes Manish, uh, you got ninety-two percent in your class tenth. In your class twelfth, you changes yes, uh, school and and your percentage was eighty-three percent. What do you attribute this drop in performance to, sir? What do you attribute this drop in performance from ninety-two to eighty-three percent? Hmm? sir am i audible now yeah you are audible yes sir the drop in percentage was uh, because of my uh, marks in kannada and english as i have scored 92 in maths 82 in physics and 82 in physics and uh, 87 in uh, chemistry my uh, my contribution for the subject which is the aggregate percentage which is important like physics chemistry and maths was good my percentage went down only because of the subjects okay Fine. Uh, so Manish, tell me why do you want to join the armed forces? Sir, uh, I have, uh, as I am from Bangalore, here there is Madras, uh, Madras uh, Sappers Engineers sir, in Bangalore. I have seen people from there, and uh, my old house owner was a military. They were from military family, sir, and I had seen them how they would handle situations rather better than the common people or the civilians, and also the discipline they had in their life. so that i want to join army and uh, one more reason is that i want to serve my nations and i want to feel the proudness of the uniform sir okay good so what do you know about then you said madras sappers is there in bangalore yes sir what are other branches of the indian army so the other branches of indian army are uh, army ordinance corps army medical corps and uh, the infantry artillery armed corps these are the branches of indian army sir good what is uh, you said something artillery what is artillery sir they are uh, the support engineers uh, which support the front line from the behind sir they have huge machines and uh, guns which are used in the like the front line is infantry and then comes the behind line is artillery they support the infantry groups sir can you name some artillery equipment so bofa guns as good and uh, so that is what i remember okay sir. good Okay, uh, uh, Manish. Now let's talk about your family. In this, yes. I will address your parents, brothers, sisters, their education and occupation. How you spend time with them? Yes. Who do you approach when you have a problem? Yes, sir. Also, tell me about your financial aspects. How much pocket money you get and how do you spend it? Yes, sir. Start with your parents. So my father's name is E S Ramesh, and he is a M Com graduate. He is self-employed, and my mother is a Parthi S. Self-employed in what? self employed in business sir. we have Some a shop business. shop we have a shop and milk agency sir general stores and a milk agency okay and my mother is a homemaker and she discontinued her 10th and uh, 
coming to the finance, uh, we earn sixty thousand per month in the house altogether. Talking about your finance, not about your house. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sir. And sir, uh, currently I'm not working. I'm helping my father in his business. I asked you about specifically how much, how, how much pocket money you get, or if you don't yes, get sir, pocket money, how do you meet your financial requirements? Oh, okay, 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 sir. Thank you for that. Yes, sir. And uh, I I don't. Collect money from them monthly or weekly. I collect it when necessary. Uh, first, when I was going to college. Now we are in holidays or vacation. First, when I was going to college, I used to collect three hundred rupees from them for daily, where I had to spend one fifty on my fuel and the remaining for my lunch. This is how I balanced my financial uh, crisis or finance. How I manage my finance from the family, and uh, I had no specific pocket money. When I needed money, I would ask my father. He would transfer me or give it to me. Okay. Uh... Tell me, uh, whom do you approach when you have a problem? Sir, uh, I am close to both my father and mother. So still now, I have a, I had not got any problem, such problem that I would approach them and talk to them. Sir, I have not any faced any problem like that. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, uh, tell me now about your hobbies and spare time activity. How do you keep yourself engaged in your spare time? Uh, how do you use TV, internet, or uh, your mobile and such things? Also, I would like to know your routine on a Sunday or a holiday. Yes, sir. Firstly, coming to how would I spend my time or my hobbies are, sir. I go to play football when I am free, and I go to my shop. As we have a business, I go to my shop and sit there for some time and spend uh, time with my friends. These are the things which I do in my spare time. And uh, next is uh, how I use my internet. Or uh, the facilities or social media or the usage of the internet is uh, I use internet for gaining knowledge. Uh, few things uh, like um, we engineers are taught directly to the subjects only the theory, but we don't know how the practical works. Now, if I had a doubt, like what is Wi-Fi? It is uh, wireless fidelity, and to know information about that, I would use internet and also use internet for social medias, which I spend time on surfing on it. Yes, sir. And uh, the routine on the Sundays or holidays is. I wake up. I go to my shop, sir. First, as soon as I wake up, I freshen myself up, and I go to my shop and give a relief for my father. As uh, in the holidays, he would get some free time. I would go relieve him, and I would sit in the shop. And as he comes back, I would go to the house and buy the things for. As Sunday, we cook non-veg or something like that special. So I go get all the groceries and the things needed, and then uh, me and my mother together we cook or we select dishes and we work out on it and we cook dishes and spend the time on it. And after eating, we watch movies, uh, any new movies, and then we spend our time like that, sir. We would discuss any problems if it is there on Sunday. How do you keep any... yourself updated on current affairs, sir? Current affairs, I read newspaper every day, sir. Very good. Yes, so sir. tell me three major international events that has taken place recently. Sir, the first one is the Lebanon incident, sir, which had happened in Lebanon, Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, where the Beirut had been uh, blasted with the explosives, sir. And uh, the next one is. Uh, India China there is a long standoff between India and China and next is the problem between US and China too these are the three main problems what is the problem among sir india between and china us and china sir uh, india and Ch uh, i mean us and uh, china has a uh, much problem uh, because they had a uh, trade relation problems from the beginning and they thought of settling it down before the pre covid situation as the covid got increased the economy of uh, all the countries got down and uh, america became a bit aggressive towards uh, china when the economy got down and then they started closing up the visas what is happening in iran iran sir iran had uh, done its practices sir. like uh, iran had uh, its exercise uh, along with the uh, pakistan and china and it had blasted a missile near the navy of us sir. What is happening in Guwahati or uh, Assam? Assam, sir, floods are happening in Assam and even the north. Which river northern... is flooded? Sir, I don't remember the river name, sir. Sorry. Which is the longest river in India? Longest river in India. Gang Brahmaputra. <laughs> I'm just. Which kidding. is the river flooded? Sir. Which is the river which is flooded? Sir, I don't know, sir. That is uh, Brahmaputra flow. You mentioned no. Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra flows towards the west of the India. Sir. West of India. Yes, sir. 
which is the western neighbor of india so pakistan so brahmaputra flows in pakistan <laughs> no sir okay yes uh manish tell me what is your strong points in your personality and the areas you need to improve sir uh, strong personalities or the strengths which i have are i am quick learning i have a capability of learning things quickly and i also have confidence with me and a smile on my face always sir these are the positive things or the strengths which i have and the negative things are uh, sir i didn't find anything negative sir i wanted to ask you this question okay sir no negative points from my side sir. i didn't find okay. it okay yes sir okay manish it was nice talking to you i have been asking a number of questions do you have any questions sir i wanted to ask you what do you mean by weakness or any we are still in interview okay okay sir okay sir no sir no any questions no sir thank you sir no sir thank you sir okay then thank you manish you may leave thank okay. you sir now take out your piq form yes sir okay your piq form uh jenny fill neat that is okay uh, yes, okay uh, what is the population that you have mentioned so the population of the place or the locality where i am staying sir ne what have you written because it's not very clear 40000 sir 40000 of bangalore no no sir the place they have mentioned with approximate population of the place the place is bangalore i mean uh, now you look, uh, go to coxdown coxdown you will say this gully that gully it doesn't work out na so you yes, can write the population of bangalore yes sir thank you okay uh okay i'm coming you you don't any uh, siblings no sir. Is... no sir okay uh this your you filled up your achievements outstanding achievements school captain won prizes in sports You yes, those will come subsequently. So here you must write your academic uh, performance if you have got anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, this may not nothing wrong, but it may not be anything. School captain, you can write in that portion of responsibility where you are uh, left it blank. If you see the next page, there yes. is a column position of responsibility. Okay. You see that? Yes, sir. Well. After your activities, okay, sir. Well, there is there is a place where you must write school captain and all those things. Yes, sir. Then you have got to be uh, give your reason for reduction uh, you, of your marks from ninety two to eighty three. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. But you should be prepared for that. Yes, sir. Which you okay? Uh, you are uh, in, not, not doing well in one or two subject. Should not. Uh, why you did not well do well? That is what is more important. Okay, nothing wrong, but you should be able to do it. Okay, then uh, yeah, in your uh, games and sports period of duration, you can write from when to when. And some activity uh, you don't play any active games or anything now. Sir, currently no. Sir. Why? 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 not representing mm -hmm. anything sir i play football i didn't ask for representing i'm just asking you do you play anything or yes, you sir. become too old now okay, okay you can't stand you can't walk around you can't play around no no sir i am playing then so what you might like to write is football when now you played one year you played finished if you are playing volleyball even now you can write when you started till date or uh, present okay. Okay. okay something like that here uh, you need not write the full school name you can just write school that's all obviously i have i got your uh, details of the school in the behind so if you even if you just write represented school university good enough okay sir okay one price is in zone or cluster be specific not just writing for each game which level you played be yes, very specific okay yes sir do in your hobbies interest Don't repeat, avoid repeating football again. You are repeating the same thing. Okay. Uh, okay. In your activities, challenge making project. What project you might like to specify out here? Okay. In your extracurricular activities, you mentioned project. Yes, sir. So what project? 
Okay, sir. We have to specify the project name too, sir. No, how? No, it's a very generic project. Everything is a project only. Okay. You going and uh, managing your shop is also a project. Okay. So what is the project on what? At least some indication. Okay, some, sir. Okay. Your position of responsibility, nothing. You are useless throughout your life. No, no, sir. Huh. But I saw since I, I know you are not useless because you have mentioned earlier you are school captain somewhere. Yes, sir. But here you are saying you are useless. Huh? You said yeah, house mass pass, your uh, first prize as captain. So put all yes, those things out here. You are house captain, you are school captain, you are my kind of mass pass leader. So those specify out here. Okay. Don't sir. expect me to put. Uh, if you are going to trouble me, I will trouble you no, no, sir. as an interviewing officer. <laughs> if you are, you want me to find out all the information from here, there, everything. When you could have given everything to me here in one at one place. Okay. So come, write all your position of responsibilities out there. Yes, okay. 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 Nature of commission choices are those. It's not blank. You are. You have to write the specifics. Okay. Few other what things. Huh? Nature of commission. Yeah, nature by the permanent commission, short commission, okay. whatever it is. Choice of service, army, navy, air force. Okay, sir. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, few other points. Yes, sir. Uh, you need to talk more slowly, deliberately. You are too fast at times. Okay, sir. Rajani Express. Okay. Okay, sir. Be more deliberate. Okay, sir. Talk, uh, you pause. Mm. Be relevant to my question. I did not ask about family, but since you have uh, learned it, you started out telling me about family, everything. Okay. I had asked you a set of questions. I expect answer for that only. Okay. If you are going to do it, then you might as well record it and send it there. Okay, never make that mistake. Yes, sir. Only answer those questions that I asked. Okay. Don't jump the gun. Don't imagine that he has asked all those questions. So pay attention to my questions. Okay, sir. Be relevant to my interview, not what you are, what you have learned. Okay, sir. Okay, be careful on that. Then uh, academics, okay, game sports. Yeah, be precise, pre sir. I played football from this time to this time, um, but I just played at my school for fun only. Sir, I played volleyball, I played this. this. Sir, I've done this mass pass in this actually and achieved this. I, our team stood first. Be very specific. Okay, sir. You have got to highlight your achievements. What I want to ask thereafter, I'll ask you. Okay, sir. But you're not giving me, you're just being very generic. Try to be more focused, more okay. clear. That clarity has to come in. Okay, sir. Your achievements, you're projecting certain things. Okay. Yes, sir. Your family, again, the activities that you carry out. You're going to a shop, you're helping your father, that's what else you do. You, uh, uh, how you spend time at home. Okay. Something. Okay. It's not only business. You sit on chat, you help your mother for cooking something, you try to say. So try to say it in the, uh, not in hobbies. Here I asked you about your family and your activities. So try to bring it out here. Okay. okay. Uh, then uh, hobbies. Okay. You, your uh, motivation to join defense force. Good. You have seen it. I've been seeing them. So try to get more involved. You are okay. said next close to my house is this. My, at least you should know. Madras app is a very. It's a man. Uh, is a. Center of Madras Engineering Group, MEG, also called as Madras Sappers. So I see them doing this, that, bring out that, how you got, uh, okay. it should be very crisp, very, uh, and you have to show that enthusiasm. Okay. It looked, uh, they are there, mammy, oh, okay, no. Okay. You're going to bring out, he said, there's some Madras engineer sapper, this, that. Eh? If that, that is your motivation, then you have to know the correct, what is it, how is it? And what did you see them doing? What is it that attracted them to you? That should come out very clear. 
so how they work so hard dedicated they are so that uh, you work, we see them working on sunday you they are uh, in the hot sun they are they are working in the lake yeah, what are you feel i'm not saying trying to say that uh, what i'm saying is right but what you felt that should come out okay so accordingly prepare your defense awareness okay sir uh, recently good i would say for a civilian uh, for coming from a civilian background pretty good but work on it, it you can continue to work okay you yeah. so to that extent you have prepared well okay <coughs> okay next is uh, uh, yeah your uh, current affairs be more clear okay you can't say that very brahmaputra is in uh, west of india that's what you know that flooding you don't know which is the river flooding i wanted to ask you which is the river which is flowing in karnataka not brahmaputra i hope brahmaputra flows in karnataka no sir uh, so it's not that you don't know brahmaputra is in assam you know it you have studied i'm sure longest river you could answer it but presence of mind okay sir you can't get uh, here you are sitting so far off but when you are sitting here in the office together it will be more uh, varisa you will get more you will put more pressure on you so you will get more confused okay, okay. Yes, so do uh, be clear don't come under pressure don't get confused and all those things okay okay any doubt any questions sir what do you mean by weakness sir like how what to... in your personality what do you think were are the areas that so i am shy to talk to people i i cannot mingle with people in your personality what do you think are the areas of weakness that you want to improve okay. basically you feel it uh, sir i am too uh, i think too much okay so nothing wrong in being a person who is thinking but you feel that that is a disadvantage for you because uh, you are about to do something you keep thinking here how will i do i will do like this or i will from cockstown you want to come to the academy here you say here how should i go should i take my motorcycle or should i catch a cab or should i walk should i run you start thinking and finally you don't reach here on time okay that you find as a in your case it might be you might be finding it as a weakness okay. so you want to improve that something like that anything else nothing so work more you can improve a lot yes, uh, you have the potential you are uh, clear you have, i would say you have worked uh, worked hard you at least know the questions and all those things yes, but give depth to your interview okay. think about yourself more okay sir. how you spend time why you are close to that person why are you, about your life just think fill up the piq in uh, think about uh, for uh, why is that when you are answering about your friends about your uh, parents how you spend time and revise those questions go into the depth of those questions okay. you'll be able to do much better okay okay thank you all the best thank you sir how was it macha not good not uh, satisfactory
Hello. Yeah, Manish, how are you? Yeah, sir, fine, sir. Huh? Good, sir. Why, why are you so nervous? No, sir, I... Relax. You're too stiff. Yes. yes huh? Yeah. Your volume also is too less. Can you increase the volume? Yes, sir. Or come closer, it's okay. Come closer to the mic if you want. Yes, sir. Can you hear yeah, me, sir, no, right sir. now? Yeah, good. So, uh, you've been waiting since long? Yeah, sir. Since from you are uh, you are Manish or Manisha? Yeah, Manish, sir. But the, in Canada, they have made a mistake and uh, it have continued from the 10th. So, A, uh, a is there. Yeah, A is there, but uh, uh, how to pronounce as Manish? Okay. Good. Uh, fine. And your, uh, where are you located at present? Uh, in, uh, in our native called uh, Hirakiru Haveri district. Haveri district? Yes, sir. Okay, so you are getting reasonably good. Uh, uh, Data? Yes, connectivity sir. is okay? Yes, sir. Connectivity is okay. Uh, I would suggest don't, since you are uh, talking, in interview is going to be one on one. So if someone is around, please tell them that you are, they are disturbing you. Okay. So, uh, let there be no one sitting over you or seeing how you are performing or what it is. Because uh, you will not be able to uh, do your uh, do properly. You will be conscious of them. In yes, interview, sir. it is just one on one with the interviewing officer. Okay, yes, so that is required. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, talk the way you want to uh, if there are others around. For all okay. you know, you might I might be asking you about them only. Okay, okay. let's. Uh, so. Uh, it might be your brother, sister, uncle, aunt, or uh, so tell them to go. Uh, in any case, they cannot uh, contribute anything. Okay, you it will only affect your performance. Yes, sir. Yes. I will let them know. Huh? I will tell them. Yeah. You can just shout out. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Nini, if they are, uh, if they are not very good, if they are not very close, it's okay. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying that they should know, but let them not be uh, sitting over your head. You will feel nervous. You, yeah, will yeah. Be, uh, you will become conscious of their presence. Okay, you will not be able to project yourself. Okay, uh, Manish, I presume that entry, everything, you know very well how to make an entry and uh, all those things. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. So uh, your entry should be good, and uh, yes, sir. Uh, you are you are uh, confident. You are prepared. This is your second interview. Yes, sir. Second interview. Uh, the first is on Saturday. Okay. How was it? Yes, sir. It was good, and uh, I need to improve my uh, army awareness, like you told. Okay, defense awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Fine. Okay. Uh, Manish, now we'll start with the interview. Okay. Sure, sir. Okay, Manish, uh, uh, you're coming from where and what are you doing at present? Uh, I'm from uh, Hirakiru Haveri district. Uh, right now, I'm uh, not working at all. I'm helping my father in, the, in his business. Like, uh, he owns a shop over here in our place. I used to help him. Okay, Manish, uh, you see, you are not doing anything. Who says you are not doing anything? You have completed your graduation? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir, I am completed. You have completed your graduation. So yes, uh, you can say that I have completed my graduation since uh, which year did you complete? 2019. 2019. So uh, after that, what you have been doing? After that, I've been preparing for my SSB. I've been 
Uh, have you written any entrance exams? Yes, sir. I have wrote a gate exam last year. So talk, talk about those things, what you have done. Not that you are not, have you been just sitting and wasting your time? No. So I've done, I prepared this, I've done this. Uh, and uh, currently I'm also helping my father in my in his business and all those things. And while I'm preparing for my SSB, you're present, presently you're preparing for SSB, no? Yes, sir. So bring out that. Okay. 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 Uh, don't say I'm not doing anything. If okay. someone asks you. You're not doing, you're doing so many things. Okay. Okay. So you said you're from Haveri. Tell me something about that place. Uh, actually, the Haveri is not exactly the my place. It it's a it's our district. Uh, the where it contains the taluk like Hirakiru, where I live, and uh, currently from for here we have the uh, sent, uh, agricultural minister right now from this place, and uh, it's the birthplace of uh, Sarvagnya, the poet, and uh, it contains a large pond like uh, of around a thousand acres plus mm. and it is the gateway for the north karnataka uh, again here i know it's not, I, I i didn't want to tie down tie you down to just a small place i wanted you to cover the entire district that's why i asked you about Aveni, so that you could talk something Okay. Try to prioritize what you want to say. Okay. You should be able to say it's a district in this part of uh, Karnataka and it's famous for this, that. What are four to five important aspects of that district, uh, area? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, Manish, now we'll uh, talk more about it, covering areas of education, your family, and your spare time activities. Sure, sure. I have some idea of them from the PIQ that you have filled, but okay. you can talk in greater details. Okay. Sure. Suppose you tell me about your education, starting from class 10th, working up to the present level. In this, I would be interested in the percentage achieved, various competitive exams that you appear for, and the result and your future career options. I would like to know about your games, sports, extracurricular activities that you have participated in and special achievements, if any. Okay. Talk to me about your teachers, those teachers okay. who impressed you and those who failed to do so and why. I would like okay. to know about your friends, who are your close friends and why do you consider them as such? And those people with whom you found it difficult to get along with. If you had any problem okay. financing education, how was it resolved? Start from past 10. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, from uh, have studied, I have done my 10th in the National Residential School, Konandur, uh, which is located in the Shimoga district. And uh, I have been uh, in the boarding schools from last 13 years. I had been to board, boarding schools uh, from the fifth standard itself. And uh, uh, my 10th uh, percentage was like uh, for 72.2 percentage, the syllabus was ICSC syllabus where I have studied and uh, I have done my PUC in Kumadwati Residence uh, Science and PUC Commerce College in located in Shikaripura and which is also located in the district called Shimoga uh, where I have scored 77 percentage um, uh, and I have done my BTEC in uh, Srinivas Institute of Technology, Mangalore. Uh, I uh, have a aggregate of 6.8 um, um, like uh, in the sports like uh, I have played a volleyball and football uh, in the school level. I haven't uh, gone to any tournaments like uh, tournaments, but I have played to my college uh, college team uh, in the college team. Uh, I have appeared for the NDA exam, but I was not so serious about it at that time in the PUC. But I have uh, I couldn't clear at that time. And uh, after the BTEC, I have prepared for the gate in 2019. I have just missed it in 0.87 marks. Uh, that's the mistake just uh, for the accuracy where I have to give the word there. Uh, 
uh, and uh, now i want now i was uh, preparing for the ssp army ssc tech and uh, um, teachers i like the most is like arjun sir the mm. arjun sir arjun sir where he takes the maths and the uh, nagesh sir he is the one of the most favorite sir like uh, he used to take a physics and the way he speaks and way he teaches the way he dresses also um, and the uh, in a uh, coming to the pc i like the ma'am or uh, ma'am named as kunju uh, she used to take me uh, chemistry uh, and she used to call me like uh, 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 sir because the, she likes my the way of teaching of me and uh, uh, the most dislike clear lectures like i don't have any like uh, dislike to anyone lectures um and uh, i do have a child friends childhood friends uh, from my kg classes itself named as uh, varun and uh, rakesh the now rakesh is preparing for his uh, upsc exam and varun is in punjab is doing in is doing his msc in uh, agri- horticultural horticulture in punjab and uh, we used to when when there is a vacation we get together and uh, have a fun uh, have a small trips like one day trip and uh, we used to converse or uh, have a conversation with us like uh, uh, what uh, what is the academic what he have and what is the what he have had a fun in his college and our college um, like and our neighbor friends like uh, uh, pavan and satyan manikanta and uh, uh, usha uh, when i went to the boarding classes on the in the fifth uh, i have a bit the less connection from that time with these guys and uh, the more connection because uh, the varun and rakesh have is like we have studied uh, the whole uh, one two few in the uh, same classes itself and um, yes sir okay jayant yes sir relax well if sitting so far if you get so nervous what will happen hmm? okay uh, you had any problem financing education no uh, i had my uh, financial education like uh, have no, you had any thought. problem financing your education i have Did you face any problems did you take any loan or such thing yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. for my btech we have a loan on it okay yes. okay uh, uh, manish tell me why did you change your school after your 10th class uh, because there was no pc in that uh, boarding school but now they have opened it Mm-hmm. but you change your st- uh, board also you said your 10th was icic yes sir and uh, your uh, 12th 12th was uh, cbsc sir cbsc hmm? in the sense uh, state board state board <coughs> be clear you can't be confused in this thing okay sir. so state board state board sir. yes sir so why this change from yes, icic to state board uh like uh, uh, in the the puc where i studied is located near and not in near actually it's far from 40 kilometers from my home uh, where which is the best college where i can offer uh, near my home so i have offered it and uh, where uh, there is a state okay, board okay and uh, graduation you did btech or be uh btech sir in mangalore then what are you returning your piq form oh i guess b eh? b b maybe b so you can make such mistakes no can you afford to make such mistakes nothing wrong i mean b b tech but then you shows your confused state of mind yes or no yes sir okay uh fine Um, okay manish why do you want to join the armed forces armed forces is like like uh, i have done my uh, graduation in aeronautical engineer that is also my uh, that's my childhood dream as like uh, aeronautical i have a dream to 
join an air forces um, like uh, have one one friend called sachin his father was working in a navy where he used to tell me like what was the going on what what does he have uh, his father was having what's the uniform like which uh, everything he was to the so i have you can hold so the mic closer to your mic if you want you can hold it yeah it will be better okay yeah. now now can you hear sir yeah it's better yeah yes sir yes sir uh and uh, he used to tell me like uh, how the discipline he is and how he used to go and how he used to be with us and so, so i have your came father, to father uh, friend's father was in the navy yes sir uh, can you tell me what are the what was his rank uh, i didn't remember sir i didn't remember his rank when he when i was in uh, fifth he he changed his school and he went to some other school but from then i didn't have any touch over with him okay yes sir so it was because of your uh, friend whose father was a navy that you wanted to join the armed forces yeah. yes hmm? sir and uh, the pride and the uh, and to serve the country so i can serve the country you say it with some enthusiasm you are saying as if someone is making you say said this catching here and making you say it huh you have got to show that you have want to join that keenness should come out yes sir understood yes sir yes sir ah. so you now you are going for ssc tech yes sir uh, what are the technical uh, service in the indian army technical service like uh, they have the um um okay tell me any branch of the army yeah corps of uh, army uh, corps of engineering corps of engineering artillery uh, corps of uh, air force uh, defense uh, what is it and air force defense air defense oh. Huh? Air, de- air defense. Air defense. Ah, okay. Uh, co- uh, army, army of corps. Okay. What is the highest rank in the army? Highest rank, uh, uh, gen- um, chief of defense staff. Chief of defense staff. Sorry. Is that a rank, or is that an appointment? Okay. Uh, what is his rank? you said it rightly that the highest rank is chief of defense staff yes, what sir. is his rank um i don't know it's like the name huh? not the name i'm asking his rank the or uh, he is general get it for you huh? sir he is general okay sir general uh, can you tell me if you uh, uh, other ranks in the army okay sir lieutenant uh, starting lieutenant. from highest highest sir. Uh, and uh, i told you highest is general okay sir lieutenant general and uh, major general brigadier uh, colonel uh, major captain and uh, jco and uh, okay officer rank yes sir okay fine uh, okay manish now let's talk about your family okay sir in this i have been interested in your parents brothers sisters okay, their sir. education and occupation how okay, you sir. spend time with them what are the activities okay. you carry out and which are those activities you are personally involved in okay sir whom do you approach when you have a problem okay sir Uh, how much pocket money you get and how do you spend it if you don't get pocket money how do you meet your financial requirements okay start with your parents okay uh, <laughs> sir i live with the family with my mother father and my brother uh, actually i don't live in a home uh, like uh, recently after the uh, my passed out of engineering i was in home uh, for a long time um, 
before that i used to go in a board but uh, when i used to come for a vacation uh, i used to help uh, my father in his uh, shop and uh, if i get a time like uh, when i come to home i used to talk with my mother she is the uh, housewife she and even she helps if she uh, if uh, my father wants in shopkeeper uh, shop and uh, my brother uh, right now he is studying a second pc <coughs> in uh, hubli uh, uh, my father's education was uh, iti uh, in uh, electronic Uh, and he was placed in an HMT company uh, where he went to Bangalore and uh, have a one month of training and he came back and uh, he right now he is uh, owning his shop on, right now and uh, my shop mother completed a uh, provisional store sir provisional store and my mother uh, have done the PUC and uh, uh, right now the my brother having uh, uh, after one month he is having the neat exam also he is preparing for it right now when i get a problem uh, i used to approach uh, my mother actually he she is more close than my father like uh, he was not so close uh, uh, and uh, i used to uh, i i used to get a pocket money monthly but i won't ask uh, my father if i want i will directly ask to my mother and she used to ask my father and uh, she then <coughs> then i will get it mm, like uh, i used to uh, like 5 to 6k i will get uh, for monthly when i used to stay in a boarding right now i won't ask anything and uh, there is no requirement of the money when i stay you know um uh, within that 5 to 6k i used to maintain my room rent and uh, the daily uh, my for my food and uh, uh, for the uh, extra things like uh, materials or something i used to maintain within that 5 to 6k okay. yes sir tell me an occasion that you approach your mother with a problem okay um uh like uh, uh if i have a, if i have i have went to this thing sir uh, uh when i when i finished my vacation i went to the boarding i left my one bag which is uh, carrying uh, the one uh, documents like uh, other card or something i went i left over it and i suddenly i made a call to her and i tell, i told her to keep it in a bus i will collect here over here So you got it? Yes, sir. But if it, uh, uh, why did you forget to uh, pick it up? Yes, sir. I in the urgency I have uh, forget to. How often do you in... forget to pick up your uh, stuff? Yes, sir. How often do you forget? Every uh, time? Sir. No, sir. No, sir. Mm. Uh, that one time I have forgot to take that uh, other card, sir. Okay. uh okay now uh, tell me now uh, how do you spend your spare time and what are your hobbies how do you utilize tv internet and such things now uh, i would like to know your routine on a sunday or a holiday start uh, with your hobbies okay sir i have a hobby called uh, sketching and uh, writing poet in kannada uh uh i used to play in free times we we have uh, our uh, uh, relatives uh, home near by us uh, we used to play carrom uh, with all uh, these people and uh, uh, during the free time we used to converse like uh, what has happened in our college where i used to stay and uh, uh, i used to tell my mother everything what has happened to me in the college and uh, what was the curricular activities done and um when i get a uh, when i went to when i went uh, when i go out with uh, my uh, friends i used to play uh, some cricket or we, i don't have a uh, this thing stadium uh, or a ground to play football or something over here so i got in touch or i left in touch or with after the 10th 
uh, and uh, uh, most of the time i don't see the tvs uh, even if i want to see the tvs just i see the news channels for uh, for uh, sometimes for uh, some few minutes and uh, i use my mobile like uh, using uh, uh, social medias uh, whatsapp instagram and uh, i used to uh, see the even see i used to see some uh, um, youtube videos like uh, comedies or some job oriented things and uh, some if i have any uh, news i will see over it very good so you watch news on uh, tv you watch news on your social media everything so okay. tell me uh, what's happening in up uttar pradesh uh, uttar pradesh right now there uh, ram mandir uh, bhumi puja was uh, held over there and uh, august 5th uh, um, uh, our president narendra modi ji and uh, okay, uttar pradesh what's happening in rajasthan uh, rajasthan even the rain has fallen over like uh, hmm? rajasthan what's happening in jammu kashmir jammu kashmir where uh, uh, uh yesterday i saw the news like uh, our indian army have killed eight soldiers in the border of uh, jammu kashmir of uh, pakistan's uh, but even though the pakistan government haven't revealed uh, that uh, uh, eight okay tell me uh, what's happening in sri lanka uh, sri lanka i to very sri lanka uh, at the south of the india Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's happening in Afghanistan? I really don't know, sir. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Uh, tell me. Uh, what has happened in Lebanon? Sorry, sir. Lebanon. Lebanon. Yes, sir. There is a there is. massive. Yes, uh, there is a massive explosion over there. Uh, due to that, uh, hundred of peoples have killed, and uh, uh, the four thousand plus What peoples the have. What was chemical in the explosion? Chemical, uh, chemical in the explosion is. Uh, oh my God! Which was the chemical that exploded? Um, some I forgot answer. Okay. Forgot. Uh, fine. Okay, uh, Manish, now tell me, what do you think are strong points in your personality and the areas you need to improve? Uh, the strength uh, is like uh, I am adaptable. Like like uh, I am adaptable. Like uh, I have lived in the past thirteen years in boarding schools. There is no choice of uh, uh, entertaining in the like uh, leaving the home or something for army, uh, and. Uh, i'm a quick learner i have a quick ability to learn everything what is uh, taught to me and uh, uh, my weakness is like i have to control my anger and uh, i was trying to do yoga for that to do come to get calm okay, okay. you uh, you told me that uh, you are a quick learner Now, tell me something yes. about uh, uh, what you have learned very quickly and uh, how you improved or how it helped you or something like that okay sir um uh, my my uh, i told like uh, name rakesh what he, he was uh, now right now he was preparing for upsc he well while he was studying in engineering he went to this thing uh, for a katia course for, with a pay um, fee of 26000 i used to, uh, then i get to know that uh, the uh, youtube is the main channel where i could get a help and uh, uh, i can learn he took more over th- uh, three months for for my basics uh, and for some grip i just took in one month to get uh, uh, to learn it by my own that is all quick learn One month is a long time. Yes, sir. Compared to him, it's a quick learning, sir. Ah, okay. uh, fine. And uh, what are the? Uh, you had said something about your weakness. You get angry very fast. 
Yes, sir. Tell me an occasion that you got very angry and what happened? Uh, angry like uh, if someone forced me to do the things in home, not in the rest place, uh, in the home, which I don't like, like uh, uh, yeah, I used to I used to get irritated and get angry on them. Tell me an occasion. It's not that uh, I'm not asking general. Tell me an occasion how you uh, got angry and how what happened and how did you manage and what are you doing to improve on it? Yes, yeah, sir. I used to manage like uh, oh, from uh, till tenth we have in yoga classes over there, but uh, after that I discontinued. What was the situation? And then how did yes, you try to improve on it? First, yes, tell sir. me the situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, anger like. Uh, Okay, so be careful when you are saying something. You should be able. To, I mean, if you feel that you are angry, you should be able to tell me. Maybe so many times you would have got angry and nothing wrong. So yes, and sir. how did you? Or how are you trying to overcome that? And what are the uh, care that you are taken to overcome? Because after all, you feel that it is wrong. Others may not feel uh, anything wrong with it, but if you feel it's wrong, then you have to take action to improve. Sure, sir. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, Manish, it was nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. I have been nice asking a number you, of questions. Do you have anything to ask? Mm, no, sir. Over. Over, sir. So if you have nothing, you can always say no, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, then. Okay, Manish, wish you all the best. You Thank may you, leave. Sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, now you can't leave. You pick up yeah. your PIQ form and uh, you got a PIQ form there? Yes, sir, I got it. Oh, okay. We'll discuss your PIQ form first. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, avoid scribbling. It's not very neat. You need to be more deliberate when you write, okay? Yes, sir. Just ensure that. Uh, place of maximum residence. Where is the population? It, it says approximate population. Where is it? Have you written? No, sir. I have to look into your PIQ form. Is it there? PIQ form? No, sir. I haven't written. Is the PIQ form there with you? Yes, sir. I have. Okay. Present address. Uh, fine. Mm. Yeah, avoid these cuttings. Shopkeeper, father, shopkeeper. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, now your uh, national press. What is the spelling? Res uh, residential school. What is the spelling? R E S I D E N T I A. T I? Yeah, what yeah. have you written? Then sure. Is it uh, T-I? Okay. No, it could be in this. It could be because of this uh, printout and I mean copy of it. It's, you have written the correct spelling? Yes, sir. I have written correct here. Okay, then it's fine. I told you already about that B. Yes, sir. I have, I have to write it. Okay, sir. So, even if it is B, B tech, that certificate will be there with him. You might see it. And uh, even if you return something, then you must not contradict your own uh, what you return there. Okay. okay. Age year, 23 years, 1.7. Okay. Yeah, gain sports. Yes, sir. Something you, uh, other than football, you have played anything else? I have told you, sir, but I haven't wrote uh, there. I have wrote only football. Over. What else you wrote? Told me. Volleyball. You told me a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, sir. Volleyball. So write it. Write volleyball. Write yes, it. Sir. Yes, you sir. write it now so that you correct it. Otherwise, you will not. Okay, till 10th, you can write the year. When did you complete your 10th? You said you 2013, you completed. 
ओके सर फुटबॉल लाइक यू सेड टिल 10th नो यस सर व्हेन यू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग फुटबॉल अह इन 5th 5th व्हिच ईयर 2000 वॉलीबॉल So that you are playing now also? No, sir. No. Not now. Why? Till, till uh, you have played and. Uh... Right, that period. Okay. Okay, sir. Ah, so complete. What's the spelling of writing? W R I W T I N G. Hmm. W R I W T I N G. W T. Are you sure? Right. Right. Writing. Huh? W R I T I N G. So why then double T? Huh? I was thinking written and uh, saying writing. Ah. Uh, okay. Avoid all the cutting, sketching, and all those things. Okay. Okay, sir. You have said cricket. Cricket, yes, you are still playing. So that is also yes, a sir. game only, no? Yes, sir. I am so still that, playing. That you can write on top cricket. Okay, sir. So football, cricket, volleyball games, uh, hobbies, sketching, and writing poems. Very good. Now you have to find some activities. You haven't done any activity. You must have had some project in your school, college, in your college. Yes, sir. I am an organizer uh, of the. Uh, you did not take part in NSS or some such thing. No, sir. NSS I haven't took, and I am the organizer of the event called Envision. Uh, so why don't you write that? Such a nice. Uh, activity. Then you put a written. Ah. Uh, 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 magazine committee of the college. So write that. Yes, sir. Publi okay. Publishing magazine. Okay. What else? Yes. You didn't go out with your friends anywhere for any yes, hike, sir. trekking. Yes, sir. We went to any trips over there, and we went for what IV. Trip? What did you do there? Yes, sir. We went for the IV. I'm a. I am telling you what all you have done, which you should be thinking. Okay, okay. If I have to tell you, then what thinking you have done for yourself? Understood. Yes. That sir. is why you are filling up all this. Be like you should. Yeah, you had all the time in the world here. Cricket, so it's a sport. So let me write here. Oh, then what I write here? Activity. Yeah, I had done this magazine. Right. Who had gone to there and had done this? Okay, sir. You are not thinking. What else is a preparation? Okay. No, yes, sir. So when you think about it, you will come to know what all you have done, and then you write your okay. activity out here. Okay, like sir. you said, uh, uh, project vision or what are that magazine writing? So it's called magazine coordinator. Then uh, you went for hike. Where did you go, sir? Uh, in Kudlu Tirtha Falls, uh, where we. What did you do for, there? Uh, where we. You must have done for... some trekking. You yes, must have walked up to that place, so you can call that as trekking. Yes okay. or no? Yes, sir. You might have. Sir, or uh, you want to call it a hiking? Hike? Call hiking? What do you want? So these are the activities in school. You might have taken part in debate. Yes, sir. Did you quiz? Did you? No, sir. I didn't Debate, participate. Some I dance, participate. drama. Yes, sir. Huh? Well, you can write all those actions. <coughs> Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, so sir, think about uh, yourself. Sir, even I have the hobby of uh, reading the novels, but uh, from last one year, uh, I haven't read any book. That's uh, okay. So if you want to write uh, reading, but you already written two hobbies, so I'm happy about. I'm okay with it. Okay. But your games and extracurricular uh, this cricket goes into a game. So then your entire act, extracurricular activity becomes blank. And you are saying you are this, you are this, but you are a secret. You don't want to tell anyone. Huh? Okay. 
then position of responsibility blank so throughout your life you are us useless guy no sir huh okay, no one home. gave you any responsibility you are in your school no one gave you responsibility in your college no one gave because they said oh this guy will uh, is useless no sir i was took responsibilities for many things huh? even even for our iv i have took for because you don't have any leadership quality so uh, i know i can't give you anything that's what you're trying to tell me no 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 sir i will clear will it i know i will clear it i will write it sir so only if you think about it you'll be able uh, when you have to write you will think so once you think once you written it then you can talk about it or i can ask about it as an interviewing officer sure sir okay okay sir. so right on you are the if you are the here somewhere no that uh, you said if you are any school uh, games uh, sports team captain house captain uh, in your you studied in boarding you said there would be house captain there would be uh, house competition where where yes, you would sir. have been in charge or something like that yes sir i was not an in charge of that uh, but uh, i took an opportunity to uh, uh, have to organize the iv industrial visit like uh, we went to tumba for that so then you write that okay, okay so you need to think okay as far as your interview is concerned uh you need to show more confidence sure sir okay your english sure, is reasonably okay but okay. that confidence is not there okay sir uh i mean here sitting so far away if you are not showing that confidence you will have a problem once you entering his office and sitting down there with him okay sure. show some enthusiasm sure, sir to join to join the defense force when i talk of the defense force your whole body language should be as a oh, oh, yeah this is what i am uh, i want to do here it looks as if you have been told oh, go and, uh, go first as we type that enthusiasm is not coming out okay, okay. so you need to work, work on that then okay. uh, uh yeah be more prepare those questions ciq the rapid fire questions okay okay sir too many you are missing out too many aspects okay sir okay so you okay, need sir. to uh, work on that okay sir uh, then uh, uh, regarding your education your game sports once you fill up your piq then you will know what to talk at what which then that is the importance of filling up the piq okay sir okay so okay. just think uh, uh, only then you now you can talk about football cricket sir i have played these these games sir these are my extra career i have been this that so you are trying to show that you are the qualities if you don't yeah. talk about what you have done your qualities don't come out the leadership quality that ssb is looking for okay sure sir so work on that then sure. uh, your friends your teachers try to bring out those qualities in them which you value your teacher was what did he say he used to clear your doubt or something like that yes sir he used to the way he teaches for the yeah, things yeah that is his job to teach beyond that what did he do do can okay. you bring or uh, identify those uh, qualities which has created an impact on you okay okay so you need to work on that your uh, okay. motivation yeah further you can improve it same way is the defense awareness it's a ongoing okay. process keep working on it you are not too bad for a civilian background uh, candidate but you can work more on it 
sir. Okay. Your motivation also, why you want to join the defense force? You need, you can, that enthusiasm, that's why I said that enthusiasm wasn't there when you were talking about it. Okay. Now coming to your uh, family, the activities, how you spent at home, uh, how do you sp uh, spend time at home? Sit down, talk, uh, go to temple, go to uh, meet your relatives, all these things you, uh, you do with your family. You might be helping your father in your shop to find your mother, your daughter. Uh, sister, you said, no? Brother. Brother. Yeah. So how do you spend time with him? Try to bring it out clearly. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is about that. Your problem, yes. You said you, you have not faced a problem. No, sir. I say? have told. Uh, oh, have oh, okay. You told me about that bus leaving the thing. Okay, fine. Uh, that was, okay. Then, uh, uh, I haven't mentioned about angriness, the situation. No, that is angriness. later, we'll come to that. Uh, then your hobby, spare time, routine, uh, yes, reasonably okay, but you can improve on it. Yes. Then your current affairs, you need to improve. Okay. Okay. Clarity, idea, everything should be good. Okay. Sir. Rajasthan, so much things are happening there. The government... Uh, rebellion by the deputy chief minister and all those things. You heard of such a pilot? Sir? Have you heard of, I asked you what's happening in Rajasthan? No, sir. Why? Have you heard of such a pilot? Yes, sir. I have no, I know about him. What is he doing? Isn't um, that happening in Rajasthan? Right so, now, what is happening? I don't know about him. You, what only you could have said uh, something like that. Uh, sir, there's some rebellion going on in, in the ruling party. Yes, that sir. I I got got a, yes, sir. I remember that. Uh, the thing, uh, they have came to the BJP party and... Uh, they are not they were, changed, uh, but they, get, there's a rebellion the, going on. Something the, like yes, that. At least that much you get, should be able to... Uh, get the word to, to come. Okay. Then yes. uh, Sri Lanka, there was an election recently held. Then I asked you about, uh, uh, I asked you about mm, Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yes. They are releasing Taliban. Uh, thing that, I mean, at least you should have told about Taliban, said so there is Taliban militancy there. What do you know a little bit? You must, you must not just look blank. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Your uh, strength, okay. Weakness or areas that you want to improve, anger, fine, no harm. But then you should know uh, when you got angry, how how you realize it was your mistake or it was your stupidity or something like that. And so you felt that you, you need to improve it. Only then you're doing something about it. Yes, okay. So if you don't remember when you got angry, then what you're talking? Either you're trying to hide that from me or you are... Uh, uh, you're not understanding what I'm asking. Either way, it is not good. Okay. Uh, so overall, you, there's a lot of scope for improvement. Work on it. You can improve a lot. Uh, go sure. through those questions. Go through your defense awareness. Go through your current affairs. These things. A uh, lot of effort can be put in. Okay. Sure, any sure. question, anything that you want to ask? Mm. Nothing. Fine. Okay then. Thank you. Then, okay, All the sir. best. Thank you, sir. Thank you.